Well, the, the first game is always difficult, I think, as a, as a one seed. Um, I, I think you saw our group maybe a, a little tight early, um, but outstanding defensively. Really an outstanding job. Uh, you know, they, they've got three guards out there that are really good, really good when the ball's in their hands playing off of that ball screen. I thought our kids were exceptional at keeping the basketball in front really the, the whole game. Um, once we got it settled down in our mind in that midway through the third and that fourth quarter, we, we started playing a little bit more like us. But um, I think that was Stan, San Diego State's plan too was to shorten the game. They wanted this thing in the 50s. And um, that's OK. We, we can guard really well. And that's what won us the game today. Thank you, Coach. We'll take questions now for the student athletes. For anybody, actually, um, there was a point in the fourth quarter. Is it Ki Kiora? Kiora? She um, key money. <laughs> she took a shot. Uh, she drove into the paint for a little bit, six footer, misses it, rebounds it herself on the weak side, and puts it back. Seemed like that might have been the pivotal point for a momentum swing to sort of get you guys going it on that final run <coughs> to put the game away. Would you say that was a momentum point? Yeah, I think that was obviously a, a really big play. And Key's had some really big moments for us this year in some really crucial situations. And she's such a quick jumper. And, you know, it, it's she makes those plays uh, a couple of times during a basketball game. But the point at which it, it took place, I think it kind of maybe it pushed that thing to 10. I think that was our goal midway through that third. If we could just get it to 10, get it to 10, uh, maybe we could breathe a little bit. Right. But that was a big play. You're right. L.A., just how important was it for you to be on your game offensively? Because obviously your teammates' shots weren't falling and you really kind of took over there from an offensive standpoint. Did you feel that pressure to just kind of take over? Well, I never feel pressure because our team, like everyone is good and we play really good as a team. But I just feel like I think I was focused in a good way um, when it comes to me, like because I'm a person that thinks a lot, and uh, this time I didn't think that much. I just because I feel like I wanted it so much, so I feel like I I just played with my heart, and I didn't even feel like it was just me. Like I, we're a team, and it felt like we still played as a team. We still play good as a team. For Ellie and Ellen, do you guys feel like there were maybe a little bit of nerves? Your guys' first game here. Um, Obviously, you guys have the win streak, all that going. Do you feel like maybe it's a little bit of nerves that first half and maybe a little bit into the third quarter there? I think it's always hard playing the first game because we want to win it so bad. And, you know, we just really want to just play the final right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but <laughs> we, uh, we just got to take it slow and just get into the game. And we got into the game as the game progressed. So that was good. And maybe we were just so excited. You know, when you're super excited, it just... It can go a little bit wrong, but I feel like we were still like excited in a good way. We just had to, as coach said, like calm down a little bit, which we did in the end, at least. Over here, first. Uh, this is for the players. Now with the victory, it sets up a possible rematch with New Mexico, who kind of took you guys to the wire down there at their place. What kind of challenge are, are, would they be if you play them? Well, we talked about that everyone in this tournament is really good. Like, it doesn't matter who we're playing. Like, everyone can win against everyone because everyone have like, kind of like a different mentality in the tournament. Um, but I feel like we're just excited. We, it doesn't matter who we play. As Coach said, Lakers can come in and play. But we're always ready. But, of course, it's going to be a more um, exciting game mentally, I guess. Right here. Ellen, just from your perspective, how big was was Ellie's game today for you guys? Obviously, with everyone struggling offensively, the it way was you were. huge. She she really stepped up, and I'm really proud of her. I mean, is that just kind of define the team uh, today's game? And that you know, each game it can be someone else kind of yeah, taking definitely. The lead we have we have. I mean, all the players can step in and do a 20 point game. So you know, it's hard to scout us because who are you going to mm -hmm. take away? If you take away Jamie, Ellie's going to have a good game. Take away Ellie, James can have a good game. You know, it's it's hard. And Ellie, was there anything specific about this matchup that you think you know was favorable for you, or did the game just kind of mm, come to you? No, uh, I I don't know. I feel like it's just more up here when it comes to me, and yeah, I think that's the best answer I can say to be honest. Go ahead, Kelly. Ellen, just uh, 
this tournament's been a tough place for Colorado State in recent years. What is it about this environment that just kind of makes it harder for you guys to bring your normal game out on the court? I think it's hard because, like Ellie said, everybody has a different mentality and everybody wants to everybody wants to win this one. And it's one game at a time. If you lose, you're out. So it's it's a lot on the line. It's a lot of pressure. And, and so, but we we try to keep the pressure away and just go into ourselves and play our game. Is that harder or easier now that you've won 26 in a row? That pressure, do you feel more of it or less of it each time? Well, I don't really think we think about it like that. We, you know, we take it one game at a time. So we don't, the games that we play, they're out of our mind. Like we don't even think about them. It's only the next game. So now it's either San Jose or New Mexico. Really, for any of you, just how important was it the way that you guys finished this game? I mean, obviously things are pretty, you know, chaotic and ugly there at first, but things seems like finally in the fourth quarter there, you know, you looked like yourselves. You must just watch the offensive end because <laughs> the defensive end was pretty. And, and so um, I, I think the end is you saw our kids loosen up a little bit. You saw them make some, you know, just some typical basketball plays that they, they usually make. You know, Lana got comfortable, scored it inside. You saw Kiora have a little moment. You saw Ellie, Ellen hit a jump shot. You know, Jamie got comfortable at the foul line, made a little uh, shot on the baseline. I, I think all that was important to happen. It needed to take place because, you know, the, the biggest thing you need to do in a tournament is settle in. You have to get settled in. And uh, when you're the one seed, that's sometimes difficult. Everybody here wants the Rams to lose. Right. Everybody. We, we know that. And so maybe they I mean, it's human nature to feel that a, a little bit. Um, but you've got to get that out of your system. And I think I think as that game progressed, the kids did a nice job of of playing like we're we're capable of playing. Coach, you talked about the pressure of um, overcoming the history in this tournament. And you talked about the win streak. What about the fact that in the entire Mountain West Conference, men and women, you're the only ranked team. Is, there, is that in the back of their minds? And how do you try to keep that out of their focus uh, and, and take it game by game in, in terms of having to live up to anything? Yeah, I mean, we don't talk about that because that's something that we can't control. We can't control what number they put in front of us or whatever. We, we know that. The only thing we can control is the next 40 minutes. And I think our kids, we you know, we've won – 20 some in a row um, you don't do that unless you have that mentality you don't I mean these kids are prepared every night they're focused every night and although it might not be pretty every night it's they still find a way to win and the biggest thing this group does is they support each other I think you saw that out there today um, and when this group does that uh they're going to really put themselves in a position to, to win. And this time of year, it's, it's win and move on. We know that. But, uh, you know, the stuff we can't control, we don't even worry about it. Coach, Ellie, uh, okay. Ellen, and Jamie all played over 39 minutes in this game. Does that, was that a part of your game plan, and does that worry you down the line in the tournament? It doesn't worry me. I mean, it wasn't a very strenuous game. Uh, I, you know, like I said, San Diego State, I, I think their plan, it, it looked like um, – a smart plan, I think, too, was to shorten that game. You know, when you play San Diego State, you're not going to score a lot of points. We know that because they grind out possessions. They play side one. They play side two. They play side three in their ball screen game. And so that shot clock usually ticks down to, you know, for sure under 10 before they're, they're shooting. So um, it was going to be that type of game. Uh, but, you know, and we've We've won a lot of different ways this year. We've won scoring points. We've won scoring not many points. Uh, we've won playing pretty, playing ugly. Uh, but the key is that these kids continue to put themselves in a position to win. And as a coach, that's all you can ask uh, of your team. San Diego State was outstanding today. I, th I thought, you know, defensively early, their pressure got to us. You know, they were pressuring the ball and, and got us on our heels a little bit. We kind of, we, we held that ball a lot. Um, and that's not us. We usually move the ball a little bit better. Coach, really all season, whether it's been the second quarter, the third quarter, the fourth quarter, you guys have been able to make kind of one big run, usually to put games out of reach. Were you on the bench just kind of waiting for that, obviously after the struggles on offense? Were you guys just kind of waiting for that to, to go? Well, I, I think we sit on the bench, and, and we trust our players. 
we trust that at some point they're going to get this thing where it needs to get to. I mean, we have no other reason to not think that way because that's how they've been all year long. And you know, some games it's come earlier than others. But, um, yeah, you're, we trust that at some point – they're going to get this thing calmed down in their head. I, I think maybe we, you know, you saw a sub a little bit quicker in that second half. I, I think we, uh, Coach Mosier did a great job of, of that. Um, and I think maybe that calmed them down a little bit. Ellen, just you guys obviously defensively, did you play a lot better defensively in this game or did you just have to rely on it more because the offense maybe wasn't clicking as well as it normally does? I think uh, mostly we play good defense, but we just know that if we keep them to low scoring, we can win the game because we're always going to score. Even though it looked pretty ugly, we still scored 53 points. Yeah, big but time, if, 53, if, Ellen. That was quite the explosion. Yeah, great. We still got it. But if we keep if we keep teams to 41 points, we're going to win games. You know, so. Uh, Ellie or Ellen, just. Are you feeling relieved now after, I mean, you lost the last two games in this tournament the last two years. What's kind of the feeling right now? Are you relieved or? I think we're just focused on the game tomorrow. Yeah. We just want to play. We tried to not compare too much from oh. last year. Like, we're a different team. So, no. It's, it's out of our head. Yeah. We just want to play again now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we just want to sleep and wake up. And play. <laughs>